What's happening YouTube? Today we're getting back out into Philadelphia after like two weeks of not getting out to shoot. Partly because I was just super busy and also partly because I was waiting on a new GoPro arriving. So now I will no longer have that shaky old Hero 3 footage. I've got nice, smooth, brand new GoPro footage. Now it is super cloudy outside and that's generally not the kind of conditions I like to shoot in. I'd almost been waiting even, like putting it off, but I just need to go out and shoot. I have a couple like techniques and things that I look for, kind of like assignments almost of the type of shot that I try to make when it's overcast and cloudy and that helps me to find photos that I like, even though I don't like the light and conditions that I'm in. I'll talk about it more as we're going through the GoPro footage, it'll make a bit more sense just to show you as I go along. Alright, first photo of the day. In my mind, this was going to be an absolute banger because it's through two panes of glass, there's a woman across the street and it's just too far away, it doesn't turn out like that at all. Then coming out the door, I see this guy with kind of a cool hat on, so I like quickly try and get a shot of him as he walks past that H&M sign. Uh, it does not work out, it was all kind of blurry, it's not in the poles coming out of his head, it, doesn't, it didn't work. These decorations, there's a cool photo here, I don't know what it is yet, but I was too busy trying to follow this guy with a hat. As we're coming past this old building, which I believe was a hat store, I'm trying to, he's kind of got the same colour hat on as the building and I'm trying to make something of it. And as a warm up shot, this is just really such a basic shot. Um, I even skip ahead of him and let him walk past me here. Just dead, I don't have a composition in mind, I'm just like desperately kind of firing shots off and hoping for the best. I got this one, I darkened down the wall to make it look a bit better, but um, still not great. Heading down towards South Street, I see this cafe and there's people in the windows and I'm thinking that I can that across the street is close enough, especially if I zoom all the way in. But I, I don't think it is. It's not bad. I mean, definitely if I was closer, it would have been better, but I wouldn't have got as much of the door frame, which I kind of like in it. Maybe if the person was just closer to the window, it would have been much better. Over to my right, I see this guy walking down this leaf covered late fall looking sort of Philadelphia street. This shot's fine, again, super basic shot. I feel like anybody and everybody would take this. All right, coming along South Street, it's a Monday, so it's completely deserted almost. There's a kid on a skateboard here. Doesn't really work out to be anything interesting. I was a little bit late with it. So you saw me shooting it at that cafe window before. I'm always looking for windows with like reflections and something that could be of interest, especially on cloudy days. And just as I try and take a photo in this one, someone walks out of this store and I get this shot and it's pretty good. I like that you can see him on the one side of the frame and his hand is pushing the door open on the other side of the frame. I like that it's kind of collage-like and it's almost, uh, you're not quite sure what you're looking at at first. I don't know if I like the colors in it or not, but this is the kind of assignment that I give myself is to find close-up reflection shots, details like this that don't rely on good light. And then I take another shot, just I'm cutting them off at this, this time and it's completely the reflection here. I don't know if I like this one more or less. I made it black and white because I think the colors were distracting. And another window here covered in graffiti and there was like an old vending machine behind it or something like that. I like it, it's kind of abstract. I like the colors that are in this one. I'm not completely sure what I'm looking at. I'm not even completely sure what I took a picture of. That might be a table stuffed up the side of the vending machine, like that kind of mesh thing. No idea what I'm looking at, but I, I like it. But this is how I get around days where I don't like the lighting, where it's all flat, is just finding compositions that I really like, that have interest and reflections or lines going on in them, and that can sort of not have to rely on good light or interest in weather conditions. All right, this isn't Magic Gardens, but it has that tiled mural type wall that Magic Gardens has. And there definitely is, on an interesting day, this street could have a lot of potential and probably I'll come back here when it's sunny or rainy. But for now, I actually just took a picture of this barber shop sign. I like this picture for the colors that are in it, but that's really about it. Yeah, this perspective's pretty cool, I guess, and the guy wearing the yellow hat pops out. Yeah, not the best, not the worst. All right, here's another one of these tiled walls. At this point, I realized that maybe I can make a reflection shot using the little pieces of mirror that are in there. So I go down this road a little bit and I find like a patch of decent sized mirrors. 
and I just perch up here for a while and wait for things to happen. You see this taxi passes through the frame and that's my first shot and I was like, okay, there's something here. Let's stay here for a while, let's keep messing around. And there's people, you see the people across the street there, I start to try and frame them and you get sort of like repeating patterns of the same people. I thought that was pretty cool. And once again, the guy with the red shirt come along here, get one there, but I missed him in the reflection, so it's not quite as good. The guy with the blue shirt, it doesn't, it's not as nice of a photo. I preferred the other one. And then actually outside Magic Gardens here, I'm taking pictures of the birds that are in the wall here. And I feel like the birds in this photo helped like add to the detail shots of this and detail shots is another thing that I'll try and do on cloudy days. I think detail shots of this on a cloudy day work really well and with these birds kind of interacting with it, it makes it look really cool. All right, I've got another one of these mural tile mirror wall things. I hang out here for a while. This one's got a lot more color to it, which I like and there's color across the street as well. And there's a guy just standing there, so that works perfectly. So I just start playing with different compositions and as soon as I take this one, I know I've got something. We've got like the yellows, the reds, the purples in there. And then he is framed within that one piece of mirror. It's not quite right though, so I, I zoom in a bit and sort of mess around with it, see if I can find something better. Just as I'm getting bored of it, this guy goes to put his phone away and he turns around and we get this gesture here. And I've got that, just it's just yellow like patch of the wall, a little bit of purple in the corner and then the red uh, awning from the shop and you can just get a hint that it's a reflection because the, the writing is actually backwards which helps because it doesn't draw your eye away from him to read it. Now I'm heading back up Broad Street and there's these guys that are running down the median and I just start firing shots off I'm not really expecting anything great but the only thing I like about this picture is the fact that I've cut both of their faces off perfectly um, and that's actually, that's everything I like about it. It's terrible otherwise. <laughs> Back to the reflection shots and windows here. There's this like curtained window and I'm just waiting for people to walk past and trying a couple shots out. And this one comes out and it's not bad. It's not great either, but it kind of has that double exposure look about it. And I do like that about it. And I don't know, I'm debating whether I would maybe post this to Instagram or not. Then I think to myself, why have I not been doing my usual cloudy day thing where I do like a slow, shutter speed of bikes going past. And I get this one, he was moving too slow, so there wasn't as much blur as I would like. All right, and there's this like cafe conservatory looking area, and there's a girl drinking coffee or something like that in there. And just as she takes a drink, I snap a photo. And I like this one because she's covering her face with her finger, and I always like a street photo where it's kind of anonymous and there's a gesture in there and they're covering their face with something. Then just across from Dilworth Park, there's a woman standing in amongst these pillars. I take a shot there. Uh, it's, nah, it's not that great. Over in Dilworth Park, there's all this holiday seasonal stuff up. And I noticed this guy with like a brimmed hat inside this tent. And I start trying to shoot him through the trees here. I start off with this shot and once I get this, I know that there's something there. I like that the trees are all blurred out. He is silhouetted against the white tents in the background, but I'm not quite happy with the shot yet. So I'll work on it a bit more, move it around a little bit, and I get this one. I like the composition better because he's in the bottom of the frame and there's some negative space above him, but there's a huge screen which completely ruins it for me. So I keep trying and I'm putting him in the top half of the frame so that I don't get that screen in there. And I get this one and Pretty much on the right track now. I love that the frame is mostly blocked. He actually turned his head slightly, which I really like. So you can see a little bit of the shape of his face, but there's a kind of nothing beside him. And I don't like that open space as much. So I just moved the camera over slightly. He unfortunately looked back down, so you don't see all of his face, but I like this composition better because it's just a frame with his silhouette there and the white tents in the background. And this is my favorite of the day. I really like this one and I'm happy with this shot. So right after that, I managed to bump my settings and I was on like a really low ISO. So that was kind of annoying because all my shots came out super dark and I did not notice until I got back. But I'm trying to use these lights that are sort of repetitive along this building. And I get this guy going into a store here and I can't believe this one actually worked because it was like four stops underexposed and it's still underexposed even though I've raised it up like four stops. And in the train station, 
And as I'm waiting for my train, this other train comes through. And if you've seen any of my other photos, you know that I now like to take photos through train windows. And there's this woman reading, so I try taking a shot of her. And previously I've done this with a 50 millimeter, so doing it with the zoom lens is a very different experience. And we get this one, it's so cropped in compared to the others. But I do like the framing with the train window. I like the colors in there. And uh, yeah, happy with this one. So after being out for a couple hours and going through my usual imposter syndrome, I came away with two or three photos that I do like, particularly that one outside Magic Gardens, getting that sort of like yellowy sort of, almost like the colors of the Instagram logo in that picture and then framing that guy in there. And then also the one of the dude with a hat on. I don't know if it's a cafe or whatever it is, it's some kind of tent that's been set up in Dilworth Park for the holiday season and just his silhouette against those white tents in the background and it took me a while to figure out the right composition but I was really happy with that one. But yeah, I came away with those two photos and I'm pretty happy with that. If you like these kind of videos, hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every week. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite one was and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.